Hang on in there. have made a pretty good meal out of this pile of evergreen branches. I think I'll flip them over and see if they can get a little more use out of the stuff they couldn't quite reach. Looks like Indigo has better things to do right now. We'll come back later and see if they're interested in nibbling on these evergreen branches. What are you doing? Did she hurt herself? Mm -hmm. She looks okay. We'll see how she walks. Yeah, she's not going to get her to walk. Come on, Indigo. Come on, Indigo. How you doing? Come on, Indigo. Uh -uh. That's why it's all riled up. There's a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Tell everybody exactly what Indigo just did. She did a backflip. <laughs> I wish I had caught it on camera. I was only able to get the camera on in time to catch Wendy's reaction. Our somewhat klutzy goat was prancing around like a goofball and somehow managed to slip and do a somersault. Indigo is just fine.
so the other day I put up another fence to protect another tree here in the girl goat area and I've had some extra of the fencing material for another project a smaller project that I'm working on we're getting ready to use our mobile chicken coop as a grow out coop for our baby chickens it'll be good to get them out of the garage they're getting a little big for that little tub that they're in Because we had chickens in here before, I'm just cleaning it up a little bit, making it a little bit nicer. These are the nest boxes. I just pulled them out and hosed them off. Originally, we had this piece of masonite over there on this section here, so the nest boxes wouldn't be constantly slipping and falling through. But that was a real mistake. The, the masonite just got very disgusting, as you can imagine, and it's already starting to warp and get a little soft, and it's just, just wasn't a good way to do it. So I'm gonna put in some of that fencing material instead as a way to keep the nest boxes flat Obviously, we're not going to need those nest boxes for quite a while. These are baby chickens that are just growing up before we can put them in with the regular flock in the, in the main uh, chicken coop. But this will be ready for the next time that we need to use them as nest boxes. So the Mini Cooper Mobile Chicken Coop is basically ready for the baby chickens. I think we'll move them tomorrow because tonight's going to be pretty cold and I don't want to shock their system too much. They will get a little more used to it during the day tomorrow when it's also a little bit cold. And then as it gets even colder at night, we'll have their chick warmer in here. Now. The feet, the feet on that thing were small enough that they could fall through the mesh on the bottom of this coop. So I had to jury rig a little, little feet to keep them stable. Pretty simple. Just little two by two inch pieces of cardboard that I duct taped on. Valkyrie. She doesn't like you. <laughs> it's okay, Valkyrie. It's okay. Which side? Right here. And it feels sort of like a... It's... <laughs> do anything right now. <laughs> it never happens when you're doing it. I think you're just not patient enough. <laughs> maybe, maybe. So we're getting Valkyrie here used to the milk stand before Wendy has to milk her. Yeah. Well, one thing you can do is touch her udder. 
if she'll let you. And you can feel how it's a little fuller. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's okay, Valkyrie. <laughs> she does not like that part. Like, it's okay, Valkyrie. Down. I'm a little worried oh. this is what she's going to do when I milk her. I've been trying to touch her udder every day. She's a little better <laughs> for me than Brian, apparently. <laughs> this is what she did the first time I did it. Is she just sat down for five minutes. <laughs> she's like, nope, not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to be milked. <laughs> huh, Papa. You're such a princess. Such a little princess. Eat your dinner. Come on. How much have you had? Let's see. There you go. I want to take their water out for me. Yeah, I can do that. These six-week-old chickens are big enough to go outside. Just yesterday, I was taking care of a couple of projects, one of which was getting the mobile chicken coop ready as a grow-out coop for them. Hang on in there. chicken your new digs. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, there you go. There you go. Plenty of room.
You like that, goodies? Free food is the kind of food that I like too.